Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here today to help you set up your Tinkercad profile and share a design. So let's get cracking. Friends, the first thing you have to do is create something. I created this fun jet. There's a tutorial up above. It's great for absolute beginners. Once you've got something created, let's move to your profile. Let's start by backing out of the design we made and clicking on the Tinkercad button. Now, friends, if I click on my name right here, it will take me to my profile. You can see right here I am using an email called SketchUp Made Simple. That's just the second email I had. Real quickly, you can add an image of yourself. Once you add your file, you can also add your cool words. I mentioned that I like to make models. I follow HL Mod Text tutorials on YouTube, and then here is a link to the YouTube channel. You can add any kind of links you want here. Friends, this is a great way to support people who you follow their videos. If you follow me or One Day One Cad, this is a great way to share that they have cool tutorials. You can put whether you're a student, teacher, parent, or on your own. For this little one, I'm gonna just put on my own and I'm gonna hit save changes. One quick note about screen name friends, if it shows up as your real name, you should pick something else. If the creative name you come up with is already taken, just put a number after it or something. So that way you're not just giving too much of your own personal information and then make sure you hit save changes. And now I have created my profile. So that's step one, get your profile created so people can learn a little bit about you. Friends, now it's time to get ready to show off our cool creation. So I'm gonna launch my jet and I'm going to tinker it. I wanna get some high quality screenshots, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit my grid. I'm gonna double click and type 0.1 and press enter. And I'm gonna double click and type 0.1 and press enter. When I hit update grid, now I've got a white area where my project is. I'm also gonna grab this project and I'm gonna nudge it with shift nudge. So I'm moving it away from the word work plane. If I do F for fit view, it'll zoom over. And now you can see I've got a good angle. I just don't want these boxes around it. So I'm gonna just click right here. You can take screenshots with the send to command. So boom, I just took one called my jet. I'm gonna get a different angle. And this time I'm gonna use a second program called snipping tool. If you click down here, you can type SN for snipping. And then I like to use this a ton, so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna pin it to the taskbar. So from now on, down on the bottom of my screen, I can click on the snipping tool. When it pops up, I simply click the word new, grab the part I think is awesome, and then I can save it and I've got a screenshot of my jet. Now I called the first one my jet, I'm putting it in my downloads folder. Make sure you move to that location. And this time I'm gonna call it my jet one. Now I added some cool flames to the back of my jet, so I'm also gonna get this view. I don't want the work plane, so I'm gonna get it from this side. Once again, click that snipping tool, click the word new, and then grab my pretty nifty screenshot. Save it. Once again, make sure I'm in downloads, which I am. I'm gonna call this one my jet too. I'm gonna take one more picture, save changes. This time I'm gonna take it from the front I'm gonna just move this to the side because I know I wanna use it in a second, so I'm keeping that available. And I want a picture of him without the canopy, so I'm going to hide that, bring up the snipping tool, click new, and there is my little buddy in his jet. Once again, hit my jet, and this time it's my jet three. And save. At that point, you can close snipping tool, and then we are going to back out of the jet. And then on this page, click your jet. And we want to add the images. We need to choose file. Once again, we scroll all the way up to downloads. Click on the jet words and hit upload. Don't forget that upload. When it's done, you can hit add image again. Choose. This time we're going to choose my jet one. Tell it upload. Don't forget upload. I've forgotten that way too many times. Add image, choose file, my jet two. There's my upload. Notice they are not showing up on the bottom yet. We'll show you how to get that to work in just a second. I'm gonna hit add image one more time, choose file, my jet three, which is the final version. You can take many of these, don't forget. Click open and upload. Now I can't see any of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close it. And now I'm gonna relaunch it 
and we should see all the images at the bottom after just a moment. I do want to warn you, if you get impatient and reload them many times, you will get a lot of the same one like I did here. I accidentally loaded this one three times because I was impatient. Click on it and do remove image and you can say OK to clean up the ones that you don't need. One other awesome thing is you can click on these and pick one as default. So I think this is the coolest image. So that's going to be the first image you see when you visit my aircraft. Friends, I'm going to click over here on the properties and let's do the last piece of this that makes it awesome. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to just leave mine my jet. And then here you can give it a description. I'm going to mention that it's just my jet and I'm going to say that I made it and I'm going to give the tutorial in the link. Friends, if you want to add the tutorial, it's this simple. Go to the video you followed, share, copy, return to your Tinkercad project. And then in the description, you can just press enter and paste. It's a really cool way to let other users see just how fun these projects can be as they make their own awesome ones. I put the word jet, you can put airplane, you can put whatever tags you want. And then down here, instead of private, make it public. But don't let people copy your design. Instead, go down to no derivatives. Why have them copy when they can actually follow the tutorial and make their own, which is a much cooler project. Once you're done with that, friends, you can hit save changes. Finally, friends, you can see I'm on my HL Mod Tech page. This time when people go to the gallery, if they switch to latest, users should start seeing your design among the latest pretty quick. If you really, really want to find what you did and you're on a different account, you can always just look for yourself. Remember that person was SketchUp, made simple, and I'm going to just try to search in SketchUp. And there is the SketchUp Made Simple account. And then what is so cool is when other users click on your item, check out the images and say, oh my gosh, that is worth a like. And give people a chance to complete their own cool project like yours. Friends, remember, if you ever make something epic using my lesson or just your own skills, you can always reach out and share it to me so easily by just clicking this button, generate a link, copy the link, and then you can share that with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. Friends, if those don't work for you, don't forget I also have the website HLModTech.com. I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad. Tons of amazing lessons you can check out. And then also at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, on the bottom right-hand corner, there is a messaging tool. You can click on that button, add your share link, and send it to me almost instantly. And friends, that's how easy it is to create your profile and share your first project. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. Give it a share too so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech and how to share their awesome Tinkercad designs. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.